Hi everyone, today we will learn how we will in, how to integrate uh, cache free checkout in our React projects. So what I will do is, uh, I have created a, a small React app. So this will what it will take, it will take session ID and on this we will uh, tell that like where to redirect, like redirect in the new tab or open in iframe. So let's start, so this is a very basic code I have written. So let's integrate our checkout here in this. Uh, so first what we have to do, we have to install this package. So I will do that. And after that, what I have to do is, so yeah, this is installed. So now what I have to do is, uh, I have to use this uh, in our JavaScript file. So what I will do is, uh, I will create one, um, one util file and I will paste it that there I want this to accessible everywhere so what I will do is uh, I will export this uh, and I can use this cache free inside our main file so I will uh, import cache free sorry cache free uh, okay so now what I will do is uh, so after that what I have, we have to do is uh, so there is a checkout so we have to do this we have to use this cache free dot checkout there is a checkout option so in that this asks us a payment session id so payment session id i will tell you from where we will get it and it also you can also provide return url if you want and uh, we will use that both so for that let's write some code so what we will do is let's first uh, copy this and so on click first let's for, do for redirect so on click of that we will do handle redirect uh, so what it will do is it will do this and instead of that we are setting the session id so session id and here let's only have that inside our local host let's see that will work okay and yep so let's see this uh, so now uh, first of all we have to create our orders so orders how will you create our orders so there is a headers we have to provide this so this is x client id secrets and the api version we have to provide uh, if you don't know uh, these things so there is another video you can check and also we have to pass the body so in the body we have to pass order amount currencies and these customer details and also you can pass the uh, the web your webhook also so let's also create some webhook uh, and pass it let's copy this and yeah let's see and if i click on the send button it will create a new order and here you will see in the response there is a session id so let's copy this session id and let's paste it here and now it should redirect successfully let's see so it's okay it's redirected and if you see we also get the we will get so so now uh, there is a cart let's pay it so currently uh, i am on sandbox environment for this we have otp triple one triple zero if i will pay so at least should now uh, get the webhook and also redirect me to localhost and it did so if i check i also received the webhook so okay it's all working fine uh, yeah so this is the redirect option and also if you see now here you will get as a paid thank you 
so okay now let's move to open in iframe code so what we will do is uh, for the iframe uh, we have to do the almost same thing so for let's create that handle handle iframe so handle iframe let's pass here and yeah so we just we don't need return url here we have to pass redirect target so redirect target is uh, so there are multiple options for redirect target so we can check out here check out options redirect target blank will open a new tab and there is a cell parent top we have to pass frame name so frame name we can decide so currently i am passing my let's suppose name as react iframe and i will use this here also okay that works uh, i think yeah so that's it so now it should open it so first of all copy this session and open in iframe so okay i know i think i haven't saved it oh i think i have to create a cache first yeah so open in iframe now uh, let's proceed payment here also so as you know sandbox it is one triple one triple zero so yeah payment is successful now it should so we haven't passed any written urls that's why it's coming here and yeah so that's it like how we can do it also let's check our webhook so we got our webhooks calls and let's get the order i also let's see so for this order id uh let's see if it is paid or not so for getting order uh orders for specific order id we have to use this api and this is the order id the headers uh, i told you and the body uh, we don't have to pass it so get call and sent so if you see this is uh paid one and we have the all the session id on all the information so yeah that's all about it so that's how we can create uh so that's how we can create a uh, we can integrate our checkout cache view checkout in react project so there are multiple options we can use it so that's it so yeah that's uh, that's it uh, guys thanks have a good day